Namaste. My name is Ruhe Simra. I'm International Meditation Master. Today I want to speak five questions that can tell you if your partner is a perfect match. And these five points is really uh, five points are really important. Okay. What are the five things that should have a relationship to last for decades? Six is over. Six, six, six. <laughs> Pay attention to what your partner actually needs and give him her that. Understand what your partner needs through the love language. Show up and give what your partner needs regardless if you like it or not. That can be foreign to you or uncomfortable to you. What if you choose a partner who likes what you are giving to him here? For instance, you like to give your partner an awesome night with yourself, but maybe your partner likes to have an awesome night with his hair friends. In this case you say okay, even it if it feels wrong, uncomfortable, just say, go to your friend and be together with him here. You should do so, and so you become that irreplaceable partner. You have to work on yourself to become that lovable partner. This is the point two, and most of the people don't do that. The perfect partner which has his own purpose builds up his own self-esteem and is independent. Only an independent partner can love and never a slave can love. If you cannot build up self-esteem, uh, self then most of the case um, sex is not possible anymore. You have to build it by yourself up without your partner. Okay. Vulnerability is absolutely necessary. It is active courage. Vulnerability is something that makes me insecure and I share it with you and because you are my partner. Instead of sharing vulnerability, we dump it, we fix it, we put a band-aid on it. A lovely partner will do everything so that you feel love, safe, secure. Without vulnerability, it is not possible to love. Actually, our partner is doing the opposite, so we feel insecure and the minor and betrays us instead to support us. We should share honesty and vulnerability. And it, it, and it is not the duty of your partner to carry you or to put a band aid over your wounds. Your partner should show up that is enough so that you can share openly. And this you learn in every self-experience group. Let the people share their emotions without any interference or comments. Be present with an open, compassionate heart. So everybody is going through hard times where he is needy, negative, boring, insecure. And that told me my therapist. She said, if I'm in a bad mood, accept that. I'm not always perfect or understanding. I'm a woman with emotion. And here you can learn to deal with a real woman and not with a perfect therapist. Even you are open for love. If, the, if your partner is not open for love, okay. Be present, accept that. No? So the fourth point is teamwork. Maybe this will work out. But I say all points. To be in a great team, looking at each other as a team. Don't compete with your team partner. Instead, support, her, so support him here. Here the sex is your sex. Like to play music together. Then you have to be in tune with the same rhythm Otherwise, it sounds terrible. You or your partner change the lead continuously like in jazz. And this is missing many, 8 or 90% of uh, um, the couples. 
or like to be the flower and the gardener. You or your partner change from being the flower into being the gardener again and again. And I think if I think in partnership and I say they are, have a partner, then this is the first point what I think this is a partner. But see all around, <laughs> even this is in mostly of all marriage not. Then comes the next point, and this is very important, point five, compatibility, that both have similar desires. For instance, one person needs very much sex and his partner doesn't want so much sex or sex at all. This partnership will not work out. Or one person is an overspender and his partner likes like to save money and not spend too much money. This will not work out. You can have love without commitment and you can have commitment without compatib compatibility. Without compatibility, no relation will work out. So it's quite hard and quite difficult to find your ideal match. Then there are four stages in relationships and all that is needed in a lasting relationship. Admiration, you don't have a relationship with that person you admire and like that person. Then second, connection, you connect emotionally, sexually, both are attracted to each other and find common grounds. Third point, commitment, both, this means one-sided commitment doesn't work, and that I have seen again and again, are committed to be in that relationship. Many people stay stacked in a sexual relationship that is actually no relationship. It is without commitment. It is just casually, and it never reaches that level of commitment with responsibility for each other. The four point, what I said, is compatibility. Okay. Now I want to make a test, <laughs> or maybe you want to make this test. If you have 10 hours right now for him, her, what would you do for him, her? And you don't need to ask your partner what your partner likes to do. If you can't give to this an answer, then you are in a weak relationship already. Thank you that I could speak about this and bye.